Sí, 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 对，可能其实基本上我拍的就是婚纱、婚礼，甚至是孕妇的东西。哦 ，OK， wow， so you guys can call him. So for today's topic, we'll be talking about is definitely a little more specific how to actually find the right photographer for you. So the first part, we feel that passion of the photographer is very important. So Max, maybe you can share with us. 通常在这行能够做这样久的，通常都是有 passion 在，在 keep them going 的。你的婚礼的摄影师，你跟他见面的时候，如果你能够跟他多点见面聊天的话，去 find out 你能够 feel 到他的 vibe。Second question， 我可以不要讲那个 customer 一直叫他做东西 ，instead 他要那个 photographer 叫 customer 做东西。啊 ，OK OK、嗯、OK， 通常摄影师大概分两种婚礼的，有一种就是你连敬茶的手要怎样敬，他都会，他都会 interfere 的。但也有一种是你们就做你们的东西，我完全不干涉。我早期是那个什么都不干涉的，因为我是比较就好像记者这样 ，documentary journalist， 就是我要纯粹 capture 那个最真实的画面，然后我要 interfering。但是后来我一发觉，嗯，也是为了满足市场上的需求，或者有些顾客他们很 lost， 他们每次要出去什么东西就看错。我就觉得，所以后来我久了，我就觉得 maybe 我适当的改他们会比较好，所以我就在适当的时候做一些 arrangement， 反正其他就让他们自然的去进行。嗯 ，I think what Max did is actually a very good way of like guiding the customers, but at the same time not too bossy and also more natural. So he also embraced the moment and he captured the natural expressions of everybody there. 个人比较喜欢的是亲情的画面，所以有可能盖头纱，我会让母女或者妇女。爆炸一起这些画面啊，所以这个其实算是 posing 的一种，因为如果我没有 instruct 的话，你不会跟你的客人这样子爆。啊，对对对,对，对，是啦。但是当我有这样子做的时候，你过后看到照片，照片你会觉得你很开心有这样的照片。嗯， I think that's a very good point also. Like you capture the family love,、yeah. the mother father love. Yeah, because I mean, look through the wedding job and remember, yeah, you know, their parents are actually there for them as well. Yeah. And another question is, when we talk about styles of the photographer, right. so what what do you advise? Like, what are the experiences you have? OK， 就回到之前我分享过的东西，就是你要去死飞去看他们 complete portfolio， 所以你会发觉有些摄影师他们很喜欢拍 landscape， 或者是个，但是有些人喜欢拍 close up 的东西，就是我们的这些 expression， 我们的交流。那如果是这样的话，你要去 find out 你 prefer 哪一个 style， 能你从那边再选择适合你的摄影师，尽量是不要让 A 的摄影师请了 A 的摄影师，但是却让他去拍 B 的摄影师的风格，我觉得这样子是比较恰当的。那如果你有没有做过这种 experience， 就是可能你的 style 是 A， 可是 customer 要你做 B 的 style。有，我有试过，呃，所以如果真的遇到这样的 style。我会先去 study 好好，看一下我是不是能够 copy 或者 imitate 人家的 style。嗯，啊，当然我做得到，并不代表其他摄影师做得到。嗯嗯。而且我模仿得到，也并不代表我模仿得到一百八十。啊，也是。So yeah, definitely do a lot of research and of course communicate a lot with your photographer. Yeah. The last part is, I think you probably experience customer tell you like, oh, I want A. So you're like, yeah, yeah, I can achieve A. And then they're like, yeah, great. Okay. So then afterwards, when they are done with the photos, then they realize that, hey, this is not what I want. Eh. Then how are like that? <laughs> stress already. Wow, this stress. Eh. If I say I've already said I've already copied out, then I've already passed the QC this exam. Usually, I'm more upfront and honest with them, say that. Up front and honest with them, say that this is the best that I can achieve. Yeah, so it actually is back to the question. Best to not let your photographer copy your style. Better. Engage my clients. They usually don't ask me how I want to do it. Because they have already gone through my portfolio. They know how I want to do it. So basically, I just need your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Alright guys, so we have come to an end of this episode. Thank you Max again for coming, for being here to do this video for us. I hope that you guys have learned a few uh, important tips and points and you can understand some of the experiences that he has experienced. So we hope to see you in our next episode. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.